brothers and sisters. Um, this is Brother Wes coming to you again uh, with another word of encouragement. Um, I um, I did a video called the um, the spirit of manipula of manipulation, and the spirit of manipulation is the actual origin of it. The actual um, uh, influence that causes a person to uh, manipulate or uh, be manipulative. Um, I'll give you a scripture. One of the scriptures says that in the last days that um, there will be false, false apostles, false prophets. Uh, the scripture also calls them deceitful workers and it, the Bible says that they're going to transform into light. They're going to transform. They're messages of Satan, but they're going to transform as apostles. They're going to transform as apostles. Apostles, and the purpose in the scripture says deceitful workers. So they're working, but they're working for, for deceit. They're working to deceive. They're working to to make you believe a lie. They're working to hustle you. They're working to. Um, uh, to take advantage of you or whatever it is that, that, that robs you, that it imitates, they're on assignment for that. Also, um, in manipulation, um, there is, today I want to talk about the faces. The faces, um, I'm going to paint a picture for you. The faces of, of manipulation, like I said, they transform into apostles. Scripture says that the enemy uh, is transformed as an angel of light, and so he can transform into he can transform into any image. He can transform into anything, such as the serpent that came to the woman in the Garden of Eden. And so, one of the things that the enemy does, he uses the enemy uses he or she uses uses uh, righteousness or uses one of the faces that the enemy will come in as is as your friend. Gonna come as your friend. Also, one of the faces that an enemy will, uh, where the enemy, the, the manipulation will, to try to break your senses down, will come with flattery. Will come, will come. Also, there's a there's an old saying that says that the way uh, that to a woman, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. And so many, uh, uh, the concept of that. And so all you have to do in order to get the, the man is to give him from some food to get his heart. And so many women and many ladies use manipulation as a way of, of taking advantage of someone. And so um, those are some of my words. God bless you. But, but, sorry about that, but I can't forget about you men. Now, now there are men that will, will use money there are men that will use, they will use uh, their looks, charm, a lot of it words, charm, and oftentimes, uh, oftentimes men, that are wicked men, and when I'm talking, when I say women and men, I mean those that are, that, that are caught up into this particular spirit, they are caught up into this particular um, um, influence of wickedness, influence of evil. And what men do uh, that are influenced by uh, by this uh, by this spirit is they will use charm. And what they will do, there are some. The first thing they will do when a, a lady is depressed or a lady is down, they will read their body language. And in them reading their body language, they will know exactly what's happening with them. And so what they will do in order in order to get in, in order to get them to look at them, they will approach them with kindness. They will approach them with charm and just begin to talk to them in a way of being sympathetic. They will talk to them in a way of act like they're, they're giving a, a listening ear. When the purpose, when the purpose of it is to, to get them to reveal what it is is in their heart, that way they will reveal, express to them their true motives. And so th those are those are two faces. And another face is another face of of manipulation is another face of manipulation is um, happiness or, or or false false happiness. False happiness, uh, false humility, 
False humility. Uh, another word would be pride. Now, pride, uh, uh, mask, and false humility would be pride would be coming in humility. Pride would be coming soft, talking soft. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to define the exact words in, uh, that, that can be said that will cause that person to open up or that will cause that person to express what it is that's going on with them. And see, see what happens, the enemy, the adversary with manipulation, see the, the enemy, the game, one of the games that the, the enemy will use is almost like, I don't know if it's musical chairs, but it's almost like what the enemy will do, use is, where the enemy will come sympathetic or empathetic. And then what the enemy will do, the enemy will share, or it seems like the enemy is sharing something, he or him or her, uh, something that's personal. And the purpose of him or her is sharing something personal is to draw you in to make you feel that you're being included. To make you feel that you're the in crowd, that make you feel like you're privileged. And if in, in him or her telling you more personal stuff, so it seemed to draw you in, then it breaks down your senses. Then what will happen? He or she will open up their house and will begin to say and express to um, that face what's going on in the house. And so those are some of the faces and those are some of the images of manipulation. And see, manipulate, it means to, to take something that's truth. To manipulate, to take something that's righteous, or to take something as it is and taint it. To, to make it appear that it's not the way it appears, or to make it appear that way. Or, you know, it's just like, um, or it's just like with a test. And someone who's taking a test, but in that test that they took, they manipulated their answers by cheating. See, in, 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 in other words, when you manipulate, you're doing something that's wrong. You are doing something... Um, that, that, that someone doesn't know about to get the upper hand. And so even when you look at, if you look at uh, manipulation, with manipulation, when you, manipulation is when you hold something back from someone secretly um, to get an advantage, or you're holding back something, seeking for someone to hold it over them, or to have an advantage, or just to keep it away, to, to be doing something to, to eventually harm them. And so secrets are Things that are carried, things that are buried, and so things that are buried. But the scripture said, but the scripture said, every secret thing, every secret thing, there has an there's an expiration date with every secret thing, everything, every dark thing, everything that as as people that that you hide, every secret thing that you try to keep away. You need to know that the scripture says God is not marked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that will he also reap. And so, see, because, see, the thing about it, see, we're in a moment in time where judgment is happening. Judgment is happening. And in this judgment, the spotlight is shining upon God's people. The spotlight is shining upon this earth. And in the spotlight being shined upon this earth, the spotlight is going to take survey. And in the spotlight taking survey, the spotlight is going to take survey of, of, of motives. This spotlight is going to take uh, uh, take spotlight of intentions. This spotlight is going to take 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 spotlight is going to take is, is going to take survey of works that have been accumulated, uh, works that have been done, whether it be good or bad. And the scripture says, because the scripture said there's two type of there's two type of fruit. There's the corrupt tree. There's the corrupt fruit. For the scripture says that a corrupt tree cannot bear nothing but corrupt fruit, as well as a good tree can only bear good fruit. And so there's two fruits uh, uh, that, that are being planted. And there's two fruits that are coming up. And so the question is, what fruit are you producing? Are you producing love? Are you producing peace? Are you producing joy? Or are you producing hate? Are you producing bitterness? Are you producing manipulation? The clock is ticking. Time will tell. For the scripture says, in the last days, every secret thing, every secret thing will be revealed. See, because God has hidden those secret things from the wise and the prudent. See, because you think you got it all, because you, you think you done dotted every I and crossed every T. See, God cut you out of this right You ain't going to see it. As intelligent and as wise, wise as you think you are, because of your position, you are blind. 
and the fact that you're blind, you will not see it. But humble yourself. If you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, God will cause the scales of your blindness to leave your eyes and you will see the true will of God concerning your life. And so those are my words. God bless you.